Easter holidays are coming and the engines were excited. They notice it's going to be awesome when Christmas is coming and the engines are busier than ever. The engines want to be responsible, reliable, and really useful. Christmas is coming and the engines are excited. And the engines were getting things ready for when Christmas is coming. And the engines were excited. Hello, Seventeen. So excited that Christmas is coming. The engines knew Christmas is coming and they were excited that it's coming. And they knew it was awesome on Sodor, the Nyinga Railway, and the Crafter Railway. And the railway. And the engines knew it's awesome. We already know. It is snowing, you know. Oh, come on, Lizzie. Everyone's excited for Christmas. Christmas is coming, Lizzie. I know, Lila. I'm excited, too. But I got busy things to do, like delivering hot chocolate to Kelsdorp Station, and then took some trucks full of presents from Brendam Docks to the South Hall Station. And then, I had to clear the snow on the other part of the line. But I'm excited, Lizzie. Later, I get to take some passengers with old slow coach from the South Hall Station. And then, I had to take it all the way to Ulfstead Castle. And then, I had to take some coal trucks to the other part of the line. And then, later, I get to take the present train to... Town, and then I get to be on time and I get to have an awesome Christmas and then later I had to take some passengers from Nafford Station to the big station on the Crafter Railway so Rusty could take the passengers from to the other part of the line and later I get to ride it Pirateton Station for a big surprise! Oh, so that explains it? Wow, I understand you're excited. And I gotta say, at least you're excited. I am, Lizzie! It's gonna be an awesome Christmas! And it's gonna be so splendid! Yeah, I think it's awesome. Can you please keep it down? I'm trying to sleep for later. Oh, sorry, Max. Lila was still excited, and she knew she's going to have a splendid time. Later, Lila got to work. She was doing so well, and she was oh so right on time. Later, Myla and Old Slow Coach arrived at Vickerstown to drop off some passengers. Flying Scotsman was there. He noticed as Lila was excited. Hey, Flying Scotsman! Oh, Lila! <laughs> I heard that you're excited for Christmas. I am, Flying Scotsman! I'm so excited! Yeah, I heard that you're gonna spend time with your friends on Christmas. Yeah, I'm going to spend time with Lisa and Lizzie and Noah and Seventeen. I am so excited. <laughs> being with friends and family is the important part of being with friends and family on Christmas. Flying Scotsman's right. I'm sure you're going to have a great time. 
Thanks, old slow coach. And thanks, Flying Scotsman. I'm sure I'll have an awesome Christmas. Oh, I have to go. Don't want to be late. I'll see you later, Lila. Flying Scotsman coming through. Happy holidays, Lila. Happy holidays, old slow coach. And Flying Scotsman went off. Later, Lila arrived with the presence train and Murdoch is there taking the Christmas Express. Lila was surprised to notice Murdoch pulling the Christmas Express. Isn't it awesome that Christmas is coming, Murdoch? I am so excited. Yeah, I think it's awesome, Lila. I see you're taking the Holiday Express, Murdoch. So, Tails, where are you going to get Sonic for Christmas? I don't know, Pocahontas. I think I'm going to give Sonic a jacket for when he had fun in the snow. I think I'm going to give John Smith a necklace later, I think. I noticed it. I noticed you're checking stuff on your phone, Pocahontas. Yeah, it's the first time I ever have a phone. I noticed what you meant. I think it's awesome that you had your own phone. Oh, thank you, Tails. So, are getting ready for Christmas? I am, Murdoch. I am so excited. Lots of decorations. Everyone wrapping their gifts for Christmas. Seeing a tree with bright lights and ornaments on it. And everyone having fun in the snow and drinking hot chocolate. So awesome. I'm so excited. I think it's going to be awesome. Indeed. Anyway, I got to go. Don't want to be late. See you later. See you later, Murdoch. Have an awesome Christmas. Later that night, Lila spent the night at the sheds near Potterton Station. Gio and Derek were there. Are you okay, Lila? You look a bit worried. Yes, I'm fine, Gio and Derek. I just wish I had a few minutes to see su the surprise later for tomorrow night. Don't worry, I'm sure you're going to have an awesome Christmas, Lila. Like you did so well when you took the passengers and that you took some presents from Random Docks to Offset Castle. You did so well. You're going to have an awesome time, Lila. You're having an awesome Christmas and everyone knows you're being really useful. You know what, Derek? You're right. I'm sure I'm going to have an awesome Christmas. I hope Lila's day will be awesome. Don't worry, Gio. I'm sure it will. Later, Lila's refilling her bunker with coal when Edward arrived along with Bruno. Hey, Lila. I see you're being refilled with coal. Yes, indeed, Edward. Just getting ready to take the Holiday Express. Are you sure you were able to pull it, Lila? I'm sure I got it, Edward. I think you're going to do so well. Maybe you'll have a break, Lila? I know, Bruno, because you're a break fan. <laughs> I'm so excited to take the Holiday Express. And it's going to be an awesome Christmas. Well, I hope you don't burst your vow. Don't worry, Edward. I won't. 
Okay, just letting you know. And with that, Edward went off. I'm sure I got this. Later, Lila arrived at Nafford Station and she was coupled up to the Holiday Express. Thomas, Andy, and Clara, both Toby and Harrietta were there. Lila was a bit worried. I hope I get there. I hope I get through the snowstorm. It's gonna be crazy. Don't worry, Lila. You're gonna do awesome. You're gonna have an awesome white Christmas and... You'll get to Pirate's Station for the surprise. Yeah, and later, everyone knows you got this. Your manager knows you're really useful. Thomas and Toby are right. You know you got this, Lila. Really? Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Annie and Clarabelle. Thank you, Toby and Henrietta. I'll try my best to get there on time. I'm sure she got this, even if a snowstorm is coming. Eleven minutes later. Night had came, but Lila kept on going. Snow had came down, and Lila knew it was awesome. Lila's tried to get over the South Hall Hill, but she kept on going, but then she got stuck. Lila was upset. She felt like she gonna miss out on the Christmas party. But then she heard it echo of an engine's whistle. And Lila was surprised. She noticed an engine. She noticed. Out came Lady. tried your best. Lady? What are you doing? I know. You were worried. But don't worry. I came to help you get to Potterton Station. I came to help you get you there. I noticed you were trying your best and you did spend time with your friends on Christmas. That's the important thing is being with friends and family on Christmas. Everyone knows you tried your best, and it's okay because Christmas is about being with friends and family. Oh, I'm sorry, lady. It's okay, you did try your best. Come on, why don't I help you? So, lady was coupled up to Lila, and the two went off. We made it! We already got it, lady! And thank you! Anytime, let's go! And don't worry, Lila. Soon it'll be your shine time. With lots of steam, Lady and Lila made it over the South Hall Hill. It wasn't long until Lady and Lila arrived at Potterton Station, and Lila's surprise was a big Christmas party.
there was Emily, Ginty, James, Gordon, and the other engines. And there's also Lizzie, and there's Mallard, and there's the other engines. They were excited to see Lila came in with the Christmas Express. A Christmas party? Yeah. And it's also a party for helping Noah with the passengers. We heard you did so well, Lila. So one of us decided to make things better. So the manager decided to have a special party to thank you for helping Noah. Lila was surprised. Really? Thank you, everyone. <laughs> everyone knows you're really useful, Lila. You know what? I think it's been the best, lady. And Lila noticed it was. And the engines were happy about it. Hooray for Lila! Later that night, on the next night, Lila went to sleep. She still think about where she helped Noah and that she tried to take the Holiday Express and that she spent time with her friends and family at Potterton Station and that she had an awesome, splendid, special Christmas. And she knew it was awesome. And so... Lila went to sleep feeling happy that she had a special Christmas and a magical Christmas. And it looks like Lila felt happy about it, don't you? Winter had came and the engines are busier than ever. Most of the engines busy so to help. And most of the engines on the Nyingar Railway and the Crafter Railway are happy to work with the engines on Sodor. And most of the engines often visit Sodor to help. And everyone on the railway knows it's awesome. One day, Lizzie's at the station near crew waiting for Worfsdale. Where is that Worfsdale? I'm going to be late! Later, Worfsdale arrived with a freight train. Worfsdale, you're late! It wasn't my fault. It was the snow on the line. I had to wait for Donald Douglas to clear the line. And then I had to wait because the 9 broke down and he blocked my line. Oh, it's always like this. Is it because you always had problems? And is it because of you tried to get revenge on that engine? And it wasn't my fault. I only tell the trucks to because that engine I know is annoying. At least it's not as difficult since the accident you had. It wasn't my fault, Lizzie. It's always like this. But at least I'm having an awesome snow day. Like I once cleared the snow on the other part of the line and I had my picture taken with a snowman and I took a freight train when my driver and fireman had hot chocolate and my snow day is awesome. Oh really? Still think mine is like that? Well, I will show Do and Nine that my day is awesome. Oh, whatever, Worfsdale. I'm sure things are okay, and I'm having an awesome day. So why don't you just go ahead and show Dua 9 that your snow day is awesome? 
Oh, that's my Godarchus Bristol. I have to go. See you later, Warfsdale. And with that, Lizzie went off. Fine, I will. Later, Warfsdale came to Parton Cold Truck. He has to take Cold Trucks all the way to Brendan Docks. He was still upset with you and I. What's with you, Warfsdale? I'm still upset about where you made me late. It wasn't my fault. It was that ice had got into my motor. And it caused problems. Well, sorry I didn't notice it. Warfsdale, you know what your problem is? You're just having problems since you and Lizzie's accident. Well, most of it's difficult since Sherry, Lisa, and Lizzie came to the Nightingale Railway. Lizzie had been boastful and she kept me awake. And I was just trying to get some sleep. And she won't stop. It just makes me irritated because of it. And you know what? Later, I'll show you that my snow day is awesome, Dew and Nine. And with that, Gorb still went off. Well, at least he's already gone. All the stuff he's saying is nonsense. Ugh, you're telling me. Later that night, Worf still was still upset about what you and I did. Lila and Henry had heard about it, and Worf still was talking to them about it. And I can't believe I was late because of him, and Lizzie thinks things are fine because of it. But I'm sure you and I didn't meant to. You're just don't know, Lila. It's just you and I's just been foolish. Hey, he is not. Yeah, and sure, since he came to Silver, he did broke down and he was sent away. But do you and I did things better, like he took. A passenger train and he got the passengers to Ellsbridge Station on time and Thomas was happy about it. Indeed! And everybody knows that! I don't know, but I'm just gonna show D19 that my day is still awesome. And before Lila or Henry could say anything else, War still went to sleep. Huh, <sighs> I didn't know he could be so difficult. I know, Lila. The way he went, it's... it's... disgraceful! Despicable! And even he's nothing but difficult. War still ignored them. He just went to sleep, still thinking that he will show D19 that his day is awesome. Later, a blizzard came. And the engines did more work, and they don't mind, they like to be really useful, and there was a lot of work to do. Meanwhile, D19 was dropping off passengers at Kirkland Station. Toby Henrietta was there. D19 was still upset about Warsdale. I don't know what's with him, but he's just been difficult. He's been a stuck-up foolish engine. I know what he said, D19, but he just doesn't understand. Toby's right. Later things will come to him and he'll understand. And everything will be fine, D19. I'm not sure. War still has just been difficult. And clean the accident he got into when he was helping Lila and Aiden. And then he stayed at the sheds after it. Well, that's because Warsdale's being impatient. I already know that. And I am just hope that Warsdale noticed what I meant. And 
and with that, he went on my own. He was still a bit unsure, but he knew something has to be done. Oh, Warstel's gonna get himself in trouble. I n just knew it. I'm sure things will be fine, Toby. I'm not sure, and yeah, but I think it's gonna backfire soon. Later, Warstel has taken a freight train from South Hawk Yards to Vickerstown. Later, Warstel got stuck on South Hall Hill, and he was stuck. Oh, now we're gonna be late, and it wasn't my fault. Don't worry, Warstel. We'll get someone for help. And Warstel's driver went into the snow and went off to phone for help. But later he came back with some news. D19 is coming and he's gonna help you. Oh. Well, I hope he gets here. I really wish I shouldn't have been a stuck-up jerk to D19. And later, D19 arrived and he noticed what happened. Don't worry, I'll try to push you over the hill, Warsdale. And please hurry, D19. I'm sorry for the way I went. I realized you're really useful, and I know you didn't meant to block the line. I'll try my best. And D19 was coupled up to Warsdale in this freight train, and things were ready. Warso could notice anything else. Warso noticed he made it. Well done, do and keep going. And they hurried off to Victorstown. Later that night, Warso came into the sheds and talked to D19. So, this is what it feels like to notice it. I don't know, but do and I, I'm sorry for the way I went. I've been so foolish, and I know you didn't meant to cause it. It's fine, Warsdale. At least you noticed one thing. What? Is that the rails had ice on it, which caused you to get stuck on the hill? But at least. You had an icy day! <laughs> and D19 and Warp still laugh, and Warp still agreed with D19. You know what? I had the same thing a bit like it, and I used to get stuck in the tunnel when the rails are slippery. Really? Tell me! And D19 explained everything to Warp still. And then Edward came and he pulled me out of the tunnel, and things were okay. And. At least things are okay, and Warp still noticed what D1 and I meant, and he felt much better. The next day, Warp still talked to Lizzie about it, and D1 and I had helped me. Oh, did he? I thought that you were upset for him for blocking the line that he made you late. Before Warstel could say anything else, Thomas arrived. Hello, guys. Oh. Hello, Thomas. Just passing by? That depends, Warstel Lizzie. Is something bothering you? Out came Sir Topham Hat, and he was upset with Warstel. I heard you said some mess up things in front of D19 and blame him for what happened. Your manager told me everything. 
But sir, I can't explain. I was just worried that I'll be late and I I didn't mean to went like that in front of D19. It was just that I was worried about something. What is it, Warsdale? Oh, I was worried that I'll be late. Just give yourself a break, Warsdale. I know what Lizzie said and that D19 had blocked the line. But most of it, you had to be patient during it. And you don't take the other line during it because it was under repairs. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. And for that, you'll be working on Sodor for a little bit, Warfsdale. Working with passengers and freight trains with Murdoch, Rebecca, and Henry. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. And before Warfsdale could say anything else, the top went back into Thomas's cab, puffing away, laughing cheekily. Warfsdale and Lizzie said nothing. They just stayed in their sheds and they said nothing about it. Warfsdale thought that all the stuff that happened is really worth having an awesome snow day. But I'm sure it was for Warfsdale and Lizzie. Don't you? are in the shed sleeping. You could hear most of the engines busy at night. Most of the engines were often busy and they like to be right on time and really useful at night. And most of the engines noticed it was fine. And most of the engines often busy for a little bit at night. Like they often take a late night passenger train or most of the engines often take few passengers and freight trains at night. One night, Molly's at Potterton Station dropping off a few passengers and waiting for a few passengers to get into the coaches. Later, Thomas arrived with the mail train and he noticed Molly was upset. Hey Molly, what's wrong? You look a bit upset. Oh, sorry. I was just worried that I'll be late for the next night because I got some important passengers to take to the other part of the line from Nafford Station and I got some a lot to do like taking those passengers from Potterton Station to the next station on the other part of the line, taking trucks full of scrap to the steelworks and took some trucks full of metal pipes from the steelworks to Brendam Docks and then took some trucks from the Sodor Coal Yards to Nafford Harbor and I'm just worried that I'll be late. Hey, don't worry, Molly. I'm sure you'll get the important passengers on time. And you did show Gordon that you were special when you took some trucks to the coal yards. You know what? You're right. I did, Thomas. And I'm sure I'll get the important passengers to the next station on time and I'll show them the other part of the line and it'll be awesome. Yeah, and I'm sure you already got it. Even Seventeen knows, along with Max and Richard and Emily knows, along with the others notice, your this is awesome. You're right, Thomas. Thank you, and I'm sure I'll get the important passengers on time. Then the conductor blew the whistle. Anyways, I gotta go, Thomas, and thank you. And with that, Molly went off. She noticed later her day would be awesome. Then 
anytime, Molly. And I'm sure yours will be awesome. I just know it. Later, Molly noticed she already got it. She got everything right on time. Hey, Molly, you're doing awesome. Thanks, Teamer. Later, Molly arrived at the steelworks to take the trucks to Brendan Docks. She was a bit worried, and later she talked to Frankie about it. I'm just worried that I'll be late. And that the passengers will be upset if I was late. Well, that would be so difficult for a little bit. A little problem. But I wish my day is awesome and I get to take the important passengers to the next station on time. I'm just bored if I'll be late. Hey, don't worry. I'm sure you're going to do awesome. You know? Theo had the same experience, but it was a bit crazy. And Frankie explained everything. It wasn't long until Theo got the trucks full of metal pipes over the hill and went down the hill. And then during it, I tried to help him. And I did help him, and then we ended up at Brendan Docks, and Theo ended up in a barge that Ten Cents had moved the barge to have the coal unloaded and it was a bit crazy but it was awesome wow Frankie I didn't know you and Theo had got the metal pipes to Brendan Docks on time I know and then later 17 and Max arrived with the breakdown train and me and Theo headed back to the steelworks along with Hurricane. And the stuff I meant was, I'm sure you still have time to be on time. And I'm sure you still have time. And don't worry, Molly. I'm sure you will do awesome. Just need a little bit of confidence. You know what? Thanks, Frankie. Thanks for telling me. Anytime, Molly. That's what friends do. Anyways, I had to go. I gotta get those trucks to Brendan Docks and I gotta head back to Sodor. Thanks for talking to me, Frankie. And I'm sure I'll get the passengers on time. And with that, Molly went off feeling much better. This is not as difficult than delivering the metal pipes to the harbor where Beresford is at because those trucks are a little bit troublesome when I got the metal pipes to the harbor where Beresford is at. Later that night, Molly was a bit worried and she couldn't sleep. What if I was late? What if the important passengers would be upset if I was late? Molly's driver noticed what Molly meant. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll get the important passengers to the station and show them the other part of the line. And I'm sure they'll notice that you're really useful. Molly was a bit worried, but she knew and Molly knew her driver was right. The next day, Molly was getting ready. She was at the washdown getting ready when Jinty and Pug arrived. Hey Molly, has your day been fine? Yeah, just a bit worried about the important passengers. I'm just worried if I was late. Don't worry, I'm sure yours is awesome. And I'm sure you'll get the passengers on time. Pug is right. I'm sure you already got this, Molly. Like you did show Gordon that you're special when you took some trucks to the coal yards and 
you did show Gordon that yours is special. Yeah. And I'm sure yours is still awesome. I'm sure you'll get the passengers to the station on time. You know what? You're right, Gentian Pug. I'm sure I'll get through it. And I'm sure it'll be awesome. Anyways, we gotta go. Gotta get those trucks to Potterton Yards. And I'm sure yours will be awesome, Ollie. Thanks, Jinty. Thanks, Bug. It wasn't long until Molly was washed and polished. And Molly was ready to take the important passengers. It got late when Molly arrived in Alfred Station. She waited for Duck with the coaches to get ready. Max was there and he noticed Molly was excited. You're gonna do awesome, Molly. Thanks, Max. I'm a bit worried that I'll be late, but I'm sure I'll get the important passengers and I'll show them the other part of the line and I'll get to Potterton Station on time. And I'll get to the other part of the line right on time. It wasn't long until Duck arrived shutting the coaches and the coaches were ready and Duck shunted the coaches behind Molly and Molly was coupled up to the coaches. There you go, Molly. Your train is ready. And I'm sure you'll get there on time. Thank you, Doc. And Molly waited as the passengers got into the coaches. It wasn't long until they got in, the conductor blew the whistle and Molly went off. Heading to the other part of the line and Molly knew she already got it. Headed down the line. The pastors noticed she was doing fine and she headed down the line. Later, Molly dropped off a few passengers at the Smudger station. The steamer was surprised to notice her. Wow, Molly, you came on time. Yeah, just a little bit tired, but I'm sure I'll get the passengers to the next station. And it looks like you came on time, Molly. Thanks, Steamer. Just knew I already got it. Then a surprise came from Molly. There on the platform was the Duke and Duchess. Oh, Molly, so happy to see you. We were waiting for Spencer, and we heard Spencer got into an accident because he was taking some trucks, and then he was so, so upset that he got into an accident when he crashed into Max's trucks. And we got some reports to take to Potterton Station. I'm sure Molly will get you there. Are you sure? I'm sure I'll get you there. You will? Thank you, Molly. Thank you so much. The Duke and Duchess went into the coaches and with that, Molly went off. Molly was so excited she gets to take the Duke and Duchess and it made her happy. Looks like it's an awesome special for Molly. Molly headed down the line. She was doing fine and she was right on time. The passengers noticed Molly's doing fine. Looks like you're doing fine, Molly. And it looks like I already got it. 
it wasn't long until Molly arrived at Potterton Station feeling a little bit tired. Sorry I'm late, hoping Henrietta just had to take the Duke and Duchess from the Smudger Station while Spencer's at the sewer steamer and repairs and ended up on the other line and got stuck at a red signal. Oh, it's fine, Molly. You came on time. And you did. I did? I came on time? Yeah, Molly, you came on time. You were early. And the passengers thank Molly for getting to the station on time. And Molly was happy that she got to the Potterton station on time. The passengers got into Henrietta and Toby went off. Molly was happy that she got the passengers on time. Her driver was impressed. Looks like you need some rest. At least you got the passengers on time. Now for some rest. Molly was happy and Molly agreed with it. Later, Molly talked to Seventeen and Stafford about it. Looks like you don't have to worry about being late, Molly. Yeah. Well, at least things were fine, and it looks like it was so awesome that I get to take the Duke and Duchess. Indeed it was, Molly. Yours was special. Yeah, so what happened to Gordon? Before Stafford could say anything else, Gordon went by pulling coal trucks. Yours is special? I'd rather be pulling the express than dirty trucks. Disgraceful. I don't know what his problem is, Stafford. Oh, he's just probably upset that he has to take trucks. But at least you did splendid when you got the, the important passengers to the next station. And that you take the Duke and Duchess to Potterton Station. And I think you did awesome. Thanks, Stafford. At least mine was awesome. Indeed it is. Just knew it's been awesome. at Wellsworth Yards recharging her battery and she was talking to Percy. Why do you always have to go so fast, Kana? Because it's so much fun, Percy, and it's so awesome and I was right on time. Kana, you need to know how to slow down. Percy, don't be a fuss pot. I know what I'm doing. Because... The only one that you're being is a slow coach. I'm not a slow coach, Kana. I'm just saying, Percy. Percy was upset. He didn't know Kana could call him a slow coach. And Percy was upset. I was only trying to be useful. And before Percy could say anything else, it was time for Percy to go. Anyways, gotta get those coal trucks to Brendan Docks. 
maybe later someday you'll notice it. And with that, Percy just went off. She's just talking nonsense. I like going faster down the line. Because everyone would still notice I'm the best during it. Later the next day, Kano was taking some passengers and she was doing so well when something happened. What's happening? Kana went slower and slower until she stopped. Kana's driver checked her. Something almost broke, Kana. Looks like you have to get to the works for repairs. But I gotta get those passengers to the next station, and then I had to get those passengers to Crobin's Gate. I don't think I can make it. Later. Thomas arrived and he noticed what happened. Cinders and ashes! Kana, are you okay? I think so, Thomas. Something almost broke and I'm stuck. Wow, that's a bother. And I didn't know it could be a problem. I know, Thomas. And I'm worried that I'll be late. What if I push you, Kana? Are you sure, Thomas? I'm sure I'll try, Kana. Because I could help you. I'll get you there soon and you'll be fixed. Wow, thanks, Thomas. Are you sure you want to do this, Thomas? I'm sure I'll try, Annie. Because I know I'll try my best. Thomas went slowly forward and he was coupled up to the back of Kana. Ready, Kana? Ready! And with that, Kana and Thomas started off. We'll get there on time, we'll get there on time! Later, Kana and Thomas arrived at Ellsbridge Station to drop off a few passengers, and Daisy's there, and she's waiting for the rest of the passengers to take to Dry Us Station. Daisy was surprised that Thomas is helping Kana, and that he's pushing behind her. Oh, Thomas, I see you're helping Kana. Yeah, he is. I broke down and Thomas is helping me and I wish I could go faster so that I could be on time. I see what you meant, Kana. I, I think you're still trying your best, Thomas. Thanks, Daisy. It was so difficult. I was just trying my best to help Kana and I didn't know it could be so difficult, but I'm still trying my best. I know it is what you meant. Just keep trying, Thomas. And I know you got this. Because it's what friends do. Thanks, Daisy. And Thomas and Kana kept on going. I'll try my best. I'll try my best. We'll make it. We'll make it. I hope it doesn't cause a few delays, because I'm worried that the other engines will be late. At least it's not as difficult since Thomas's brother Timothy got stuck at a red signal, all because it got stuck. But at least things are fine for him. Later, Thomas and Connor headed down the line. Uh, could you hurry up, Thomas? We're not alone. What do you meant by that, Kana? When Thomas noticed it, there was Paxton and James behind them. Hurry up, Thomas! I gotta get those passengers to Brendan Docks, and I have to be on time. 
Don't worry, James. Me and Connor will head on to the other line. It wasn't long until Thomas and Connor went on to the other line. Thank you, Thomas. Anytime, Paxton and James. See you later, Thomas. Try not to be a slow coach. <laughs> See, Kana knew we already got it. Thomas was a bit worried, but he knew he was happy that he is trying his best to help his friend. Later, Thomas kept on going, and then later, Kana and Thomas had to rest in a siding for a little bit. Kana felt tired, and Thomas stopped. It's okay, Kana. We'll rest here on for a little bit. But then Thomas saw Kana was upset. Kana, what's wrong? Oh, Thomas. I'm sorry. I thought we could be on time, but we're causing a few delays. And it's happening because I been such a slow coach and Percy and Con explained to Thomas about what Percy said hey I know what Percy said but I'm it's okay Percy's my friend and I know he didn't meant to we're still friends and I'm sure Percy's still your friend I'm sure he knows you're the fastest engine that goes down the line. And everyone knows you're the fastest engine on Soda Kana. You think so? Of course so. Kana, you don't need to be upset about it. I know it's difficult, but Percy knows it's okay. And it's okay to go faster down the line or go slow. It's okay if you do. And everyone knows you're really useful and that you're the fastest engine that everyone ever noticed. Wow, Thomas! Thank you! Thank you for letting me know! Anytime, Kana. That's what friends do. Indeed. Let's go, Kana. Let's get those passengers to the next station. And I could show you the other part of the line. Like, heck, I could show you the Soda Suspension Bridge. And we could get to the next station, and... There's a tower near it. Wow, that will be awesome. And Thomas went off again, pushing Kana again. I'm sure you already got it. Indeed, Eddie! At least he's trying his best! Later, Connor and Thomas arrived at the station to drop off the passengers, and Flora was there. She was dropping off supplies in the workmen to repair the other platform. And Connor was surprised to see Flora. Oh, you must be Flora. Hi. Oh, hey, Connor. Yeah. And I see Thomas is helping you. Yeah, and I guess you work at the station. I do. I often take pastures down the line. And wow! The tower! Yeah, it's the tower that Thomas found when he made the great discovery to the town to this station and the tower. Wow! That is awesome! It was. And it, you should have seen what happened earlier. I 
notice things have been crazy and I brought Flora a, a special tram car so that she could take passengers then and, and it was awesome for Flora Wow that's exciting indeed it is and Thomas had found the station and tower in the town and he had it restored Wow at least it was awesome Indeed it is. Oh, sorry, I gotta go. I got some trucks to take to the other part of the line. And I gotta get some more trucks full of slate for the floor to the platform. I'll see you later. And with that, Flora went off. Kana was surprised to notice it. You know what, Thomas? I think it's so exciting to see the tower. And Kana looked at the tower, and she noticed it looked splendid. And you know what? And even if things have been difficult, thanks for being there, Thomas. Anytime, Kana. It's what friends do. Indeed. And Kana noticed it was exciting. It wasn't long until Thomas and Kana were on their way again. They went over the Soto Suspension Bridge and they were on time. On the way, Thomas and Kana went through Kilden Station. Kropin was surprised to notice it. Wow, you're doing so well, Thomas. Thanks, Crobin. Just trying my best. Until Thomas and Connor got the passengers to Crobin's gate, and Thomas shunted Connor and her coaches into the works. And you know what? Seeing the sights have made me feel much better. Yeah. Anytime. Happy that I could help. And you know what? Going down the line, going faster, and surprising everyone would be so awesome when I was repaired. I'm sure it will be, Kana. Like, everyone knows you're really useful. Thomas is right. Everyone knows you're the fastest engine that everyone ever noticed. And things were getting me to the works, Thomas. Anytime. Just knew I could help you. You know what? Sir Topham Hat will be so happy for what you did. And I think he already knows. And Thomas was happy that he had helped his friend Kana. And you know what, Thomas? I'm sure your brother Timothy is proud of you. You know what, Andy Clarabelle? You're right! I'm sure my brother Timothy is very proud of me. And Thomas felt much better. Later, Kana was repaired and she is back to work and... Kana's happy to go faster down the line again. You're doing awesome! Thanks, Birdie! Just knew I got it! And you're doing awesome, Kana, and welcome back! Wow, Tim Barnett! Looks like Kana's doing awesome! Later, when Percy heard about it, he was a bit unsure that Kana needs to know how to go slow hey she had but she likes to go faster down the line and she's just being on time at least she didn't cause delays and at least it wasn't a problem than the time that you ended up at a backing signal <laughs> first she said nothing to James he just went off Without saying anything else. He just felt foolish. And 
course, she just went off. Lots to think about. At least Kana's doing okay. Even though it's been crazy. Even though it's so awesome that Kana's repaired. But at least a splendid red engine like me is always awesome. And at least Kana was splendid heading down the line going faster. And at least I'm still the fastest red engine on Sodor. And James laughed. Later, later that night, Kana talked to Nia Neverchets. So, Kana, does going slow was okay? I think it was fine, but going faster is awesome. Yeah, I know what you meant, Kana. At least you and Thomas are on time. Yeah, at least things are okay. And you know what, Mia? It has been awesome. <laughs> Indeed. Looks like you had a great day, didn't you? I did indeed, Nia. And Khan and Nia went to sleep really happy. Kana was happy that she had been repaired. Everyone noticed she had been really useful in the fastest engine that goes down the line. And Kana's happy that she had been really useful. Sure she was, don't you?